Hello and welcome to a new video. Today I would like to show you how I sketch a nose and hatch it realistically, especially how I draw the shadows. For this you need normal paper, two pencils F and 2B, an eraser pencil or a normal eraser, and a normal tissue to smudge the pigments. If you only plan to sketch your nose, all you need is paper, a pencil and maybe an eraser, but if you plan to shade the nose, you will also need a softer pencil and a tissue. Yes, and let's begin with the sketch. First, I draw a round circle. Then, I draw the nostrils below the circle. I can't explain it all very well, but I think if you look at the examples, at the illustrations, you can understand what I mean. Now, you can draw the elongated part of the nose. the nostrils the side of the nose. Make sure that both nostrils are about the same size. Now we are finished with the sketch and we will draw the shadows of the nose. If you don't plan to shade the nose, you can switch at this time. There I show you how to sketch a different shaped nose and how to sketch a nose from the side. Yes, and no to the shading. As you can hopefully see in the example, the light comes from the right, so the shadows are on the left side of the nose and the light is reflected in the middle and on the right side of the nose. The brightest spot here is on the right side of the nose, but here elongated in the middle of the nose is a little darker spot. No, we draw the shadows of the nose. If you are working with the template, it is best to orientate yourself there and see where you can recognize the shadows, which you can draw into your drawing. For example, this is my template. Here on my template, the shadows are on the right side. So the darkest shadows are here, here and here. The dark shadows are here, here and here. The brightest shadows are here and here. And the midlight spot is here. Then the very brightest spot is here. I hope that was all understandable. But yes, now I draw the shadows where I can see them on my template.
When I'm done with the first layer, I take the tissue and go over the whole sketch with it. It's better to wipe in small circular motions, not just roughly, otherwise you will just smear the pigment. Then when I'm done, I take my 2B pencil and do the same thing again. So I hatch the shadows again. Then I repeat the whole process until I'm 100% satisfied. Of course you can also draw even black shadows by using pencils with even softer leads. For example means with the strength 3B, 4B, 6B, 8B etc. The higher the number in the front of the B, the softer the pencil is. And the softer the pencil, the more you can add blacker, stronger shadows. Yes, and then when you are really satisfied, you are also finished with this drawing. Now, we have finished drawing this nose, but I will still show you how to draw a slightly more pointed nose and a nose from the side view. It's actually quite simple. I think these examples, illustrations that I have made, are also self-explanatory, but I would like to say a little bit about it. This illustration here is the summarized version of the nose we just drew, so I don't think I really need to say anything about this. Here you can see how to draw a slightly more pointed nose. In principle it is the same, only now you make the circle a little more oval shaped and not as round as I showed you at the beginning. And then you can draw in the shadows if you want. And here you can see how to draw a nose from the side view. First draw an angle elongated, well not a regular, triangle and then draw a circle inside it. Then you can draw the shape of the nose and the nostril. If you still feel like it, you can draw the shadows again. Here it is also easier if you follow a template. Yes, in that sense, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and this video. If it is so, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more creative videos, creative challenges and hopefully helpful tutorials. I would be very happy about that. Thank you and see you next time.